Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, if you're new, thank you for joining. I am Delaney and today I am going to be doing a little styling tip video. I'm very excited for this. I love these types of videos. I do lots of fashion on my channel. I do some vlogs as well and tutorials and things like that. So today's video is, as you can see from the title, some very easy go-to styling tips that you can use in pretty much any outfit, any day, and they're just really quick and simple so you can apply them pretty much at any time. So I'm I'm excited to share these tips with you guys and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel definitely be sure to do so I would love to have you here and if you have any other video requests that you would like to see you can always drop them in the comments and I will add them to my list all right so the first tip that I wanted to share with you guys is something really simple and easy I mean all of these things are incredibly simple and easy but especially this I feel like can be applied anytime anywhere for any look and that is simply to put your hair up. I know a lot of people specifically guys think that hair down and long hair is so appealing and beautiful and all these things but I honestly think that putting your hair up is so fashionable and it's beautiful and it allows you to showcase other parts of your style and even parts of your body so you know showing off a little bit of the neck or the collarbone the decollete anything like that I think is a really nice touch that is brought in from putting the hair up if you're wearing a nice neckline or you have any details on your clothing or jewelry it's also a really nice way to highlight that so this is a go-to trick that I feel like a lot of people actually forget and we all end up wearing our hair down all the time but then you put your hair up and you feel like a different person and it totally transforms the look and even your confidence and everything so one of my favorite ways to wear my hair up lately especially has been the kind of 90s claw clip style so I have this little claw clip here from Amazon and I'm just gonna show you guys kind of a quick simple easy way that I like to put my hair up and this is great for like any look. Okay, so as you can see, that's just a super simple way to put your hair up. It can also be really messy. You can kind of just mess around with the bun and the wispies in the front and kind of just like the crown part too can be really loose and messy, which is really nice. And it's a very effortless kind of undone look. So it's great for, you know, pretty much everyday styles. Another go-to for putting your hair up for me would be like a high ponytail with the bangs down. I also love doing a top knot or a slicked back bun really easy and simple especially if you have like greasy hair or anything like that but I think it's just a good trick to keep in your back pocket to remember that you can put your hair up and it will transform the look it will make you feel more stylish and put together sometimes and it's definitely just a nice option to have and keep in your back pocket like I mentioned so that is the first one all right and then the second styling tip is something that I utilize pretty much every day and I'm obsessed with it I think that we all are and that is going Going to be accessorizing specifically with hoop earrings. So this part of today's video is actually in collaboration with Miss Oma, who is one of my absolute favorite jewelry brands. I've literally been wearing them for years. I talk about them all the time on my all my social channels because I wear them literally daily. Their pieces are so timeless. They go with everything. They're very wearable and they're also very durable. I sleep, swim, shower, all kinds of things in mind. So definitely one of my absolute favorite go-tos. And they just launched their chubby hoop earring so I'm really excited about these I think the name is so cute and as I mentioned I am a huge hoop lover I think we all are I also want to mention that we should be grateful to the black community the Latinx community and other communities who have influenced this part of fashion with hoop earrings so definitely shout out to all of those communities we are so grateful for your influence on fashion here I am celebrating it with the little chubby hoop so I love the new chubby hoop because it is a really cute size I like how it's a little bit thicker but it's also a little bit smaller super wearable they're not too heavy so you can wear them all day and they're really easy to style with a wide range of things so you can style them with a t-shirt and jeans super simple and you can also dress them up with something more chic and elegant and feminine as well so I love the versatility of them they're definitely an iconic piece and I know I'll be mixing them in to so many different looks 
So as you can see, they just add a nice little touch to the look and they kind of bring it together and round it out. I'm also going to wear some of my favorite necklaces from them. As I mentioned, I wear Miss Oma pretty much every single day and their necklaces are part of like my signature stacking style. I wear these literally all the time for years. So just gonna add those in as this really helps bring a look together as well. So I have a nice mixture of different kind of textures and links and everything with the, with the necklaces, which is great. I love mixing these all together or with other pieces or on their own. Super versatile again. And these little bits of accessorizing just really help kind of make you feel more put together and they make your look pop a little bit more and kind of just give the finishing touch. I will also, of course, link everything in the description box for you guys, including these jewelry pieces, so you can shop them there. All right, the next styling tip that I have for you guys is so crucial and definitely something that I use every single day, and it's simply to play with your proportions and even things out. So a lot of times for me, I am 5'4", so I'm a little bit on the shorter side, and something that I do a lot to kind of even out my proportions in a look is either tuck or crop my tops. Even just like rolling up your sleeves can make a huge difference. So one of the tricks that I love doing is like a bra tuck where you simply kind of just like fold your shirt underneath your bra and do like a custom, t a custom crop to it to tailor for your body style or the kind of style that you want to emulate with your fashion, whatever it is, but also just kind of like tucking in your shirt, maybe tucking in one side of a button up or tucking the whole thing into a high waist thing these are little tricks that are going to absolutely transform your outfit it is literally day and night sometimes when I go to tuck or crop something what it does for the outfit and how it makes me feel and look and everything so this is a huge tip that I definitely want to emphasize because I think that it can absolutely transform your styling from a day-to-day -day basis so for today's look I'm just showing you guys kind of what my t-shirt looks like when it's untucked versus when it's tucked in it is really just tailoring more to my body it's evening out my proportions and it's much more flattering it's kind of cinching in the waist and I do want to highlight that it doesn't have to be showing skin if you're not comfortable with cropping or rolling or anything like that by all means do whatever suits you and your personal style but for me cropping really helps a lot of times but even just like tucking and cinching with belts and things like that is going to help so much to kind of even out the proportions and really elevate your style to the next level Okay, the next trick that I have for you guys is to add in a blazer or a leather jacket or some kind of layer over top, which is something I've talked about on my channel before and it's just a tip that I love so much and I definitely use this all the time as well. So I really think that this completes a look. It brings it all together and it's such an easy thing that you can add into pretty much any outfit. So personally, I love oversized blazers. I also love leather jackets. I tend to wear those two probably the most or or just like a little over shirt, some kind of button up or something like that. So those would be kind of my three go-to styles for this tip. And it's really simple and easy to do. You can just leave one by the front door and whenever you're on your way out, if you just throw that over top the outfit, I think that it really completes it. And it's also really nice to have a layer in case it gets chilly at night or whatever the case may be. So definitely don't forget about adding that nice layer over top and just keeping the styling trick in your back pocket for when you feel like the look hasn't fully come together yet. All right, and then my last tip is something that I also love doing in my home, in my fashion, and pretty much all aspects of life. So the tip is to add something vintage to the mix. So this can be anything, uh, particularly I know it's very popular and I do this a lot to add in a vintage handbag. I find that vintage designer is so cool. I prefer it over brand new and it really completes a look. It makes it feel unique and like it has character and it just really elevates your style, I would say. But of course, it doesn't have to be a handbag. You can throw in vintage jackets, shirts, shoes, accessories, maybe like hair accessories, jewelry is great for vintage pieces. Anything honestly works just because the vintage pieces are more unique and they do have more character and they just add something different to the look that brand new things aren't able to do in my opinion. So it doesn't really matter what part of the outfit it is, but if you can mix in some staple vintage pieces that you incorporate into a lot of everyday looks, I highly recommend seeking out those pieces because I think that it transforms the look and it's really simple to do and it's also really fun and more meaningful, I would say. So I hope you guys liked these tips. I think that it makes 
the biggest difference to add all these in versus leaving them out. So I'm gonna do a little side by side here to show you guys kind of what my look and my outfit and my fashion taste appears as when I'm not doing any of these things with the exact same outfit on as this pretty much versus when I'm doing all of these little tips, I feel like it just changes the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, if you have other video requests, please drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you next time.